the string class in C++. So, the standard C++ library provides a string class type that supports all the operations which we have mentioned earlier and additionally some more other functionalities. We shall study this class in C++ standard library, but for now let us check the following example only. I know that at this present moment you are not having the concept of class and object. So, for the time being let us proceed with this example and later obviously we will be having other chapters in this tutorial on this class and objects for the better understanding of the code. So, here is the code for us. We are having one main function. We have defined this str1 of the type string. So, string is the class name str1 will be the object under that. So, it is it is containing hello, it is containing world, str3 is as usual uninitialized. So, int len is there. So, str3 is equal to str1. So, if you print str3, I am supposed to get this hello message getting printed. We are doing this concatenation using plus. So, str1 plus str2, str1 is containing hello, str2 is containing world. So, when you do the concatenation, so str3 is getting hello world. So, I am printing this str3 here. So, hello world should be getting printed and it has got printed. And now we are trying to find out the length of this str3 using this particular function that is size. So, str3 dot size and then the length will get initialized with the respective output argument whatever it is being it will, it will be returning and that will be the value will be assigned to len. Hello is containing 5 letters, world is containing 5 letters. So, after concatenation hello world will be containing 10 letters. So, we are supposed to get this len initialized with 10 and whenever we are going to print this len we are supposed to get this 10 as output. In this way this program has been written considering string class objects in our code and this is the respective output we have obtained here. Thanks for watching this video.